Hi everybody, Robin McFarlane from That's My Dog and I want to share a little video with you today of Missy. Missy is a four month old uh, pit bull puppy who was going through our training program at the same time that I was teaching students through our eCademy program. Uh, the eCademy is a program where I teach other professional trainers different ways and different approaches to using a remote collar. So as you listen in here you're going to hear those taps in the background. That's an indication of when we're tapping the button. Um, the tap, as uh, many of you know, we Missy, use it as a come. prompt to prompt the dog to Hard recall to us. And then you can see we're using food as a reward. So we're playing this little game with Missy. And our goal is to build a very reliable recall. Right now it's very early in the training and she is wearing her remote collar and she's using a little drag line on there. That's about a 15 or 20 foot line that we use to assist her through this learning process. But what we're doing is building an association Gump. that when she feels the tap Gump. on that collar, it gets Good. her attention. And when she goes to the person that's calling her, then the weird sensation goes away. And she's also rewarded for it. So how that holds up in the end is you take the dog out hiking, you take him to the beach or the park. You can have a dog that can be off leash, but you know that if your dog gets distracted, you're going to be able to tap that button and they will have built a very positive association with the stim to learn to come when called. Now there's an example where we need that line. You see she got a little distracted, she kind of started to scratch and the handler picked up the line and helped her. And then the reward again. So I think you get the picture here um, of what we're trying to do. We're trying to teach the dog very uh, low level stim that this little prompt is a way to pay attention and you're going to get rewarded for coming when called. And it's not going to be long here, probably another week or so down the line and she will not need that leash at all, which is a very, very cool thing. And I think, you know, for anybody that's concerned about the remote collar, we're just trying to point out that it's not the tool, it's really how you use it. Um, you can see the response right there with little Missy. She is a pretty happy, pretty um, well-adjusted dog and obviously not bothered by that little pink collar that she's wearing. All for now, you guys um, keep doing training, keep hanging out with your dog and having a good time, and if you have questions, let us know.